and that gives you a very, very, very vivid visual of what it was like to be. Today's Patreon request is brought to you by Lizzie Veen. It's a brand new band on the channel called Blind Guardian. She really wants me to check these out. I wasn't going to do it, but you know, I'm only joking. Uh, the song is called Sacred Worlds, and it's a lyric video, English and Deutsch, which is obviously German, which I don't speak. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can get the gist of the message. Okay, let's see why you wanted me to react to these guys. Let's go. It's almost like a movie score at the beginning. Like in movie music. Okay. Okay. Oh, Lizzie did say it was from a from a game called Sacred Two from years ago. It's a game I've not actually played, but obviously I remember now because of these uh, graphics. Sounds very similar, cinematic, like a, a game music actually. It's like some sort of like mythical arcs and stuff. Dungeons and Dragons type stuff with uh, like arc slaying and other things like that. Okay. Lots of hits, isn't there? Well, it's building up to something. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we're going to that symphonic power metal. Lots of drama. Oh, right. We've got the, the German version as well, so it doesn't matter. It just genre switched. It's There's an underlying message here. I think, initially, well, not initially, I think mainly this is for the game and whatever's been portrayed in the game. Like I say, I don't know, never, not what story the game is, never played it, but I feel like it's been wrote for the game, but I also feel like it's relevant to wartime, like real wartime. Like people put the differences aside and go to war and fight uh, with each other and, uh, and then, you know, they unite. You forget, put your difference aside, you unite together and fight the war and come back, come home, you know, and then, you know, if you're not getting on, you don't get on. But, I mean, this is, uh, it reminds me musically of Sabaton, but without the, the uh, wacky, what's his name? Joe Kim's, um, like, harsh, like, raspy vocals. It's like, it's more clean, but the backing music reminds me of Sabaton, that's what I'm trying to say. Mm. 
Captain Guitar Soul and Phil Wright. Yeah, that's very Sabaton lyrically. Because, like you say, the like when you've heard, you've seen the few Sabaton songs, and you, he he's explaining what a soldier's feeling in certain parts of, let's say, the battle might be. There's been a few different instances where someone's down on the ground, contemplating the last moments, thinking about the memories, the good times, the bad times, everything that flashes before their eyes, before they die, etc. Knowing that they're in the final hours, and that gives you a very, very, very vivid visual of what it was like to be. In your last hours, in a scenario like that, it's, uh, it's, it's very, very visual. Having one last go before he's dead. Hmm. I still think you're talking about the game, though. Guitar solo again. No, he's taking a turn now. This feels like game music in this part. to the gates and I'm left alone does that mean he's not getting into heaven <laughs> that's what I think that means and obviously they said they tried to raise him from the dead but it failed so maybe maybe his soul wasn't worthy <laughs> Because if you've died and your memory's going to live on, that's the only time people are going to be able to remember you anyway, isn't it? You know what I mean? You won't live forever. You might be immortalised by what you've done, but you've got dead eyes. So you're dead. Wow. He's not getting to heaven. That's what it is, isn't it? It's like somebody's spirit going to hell this time. Okay. 
This is good side handle. <laughs> Fucking medieval guitar! Wow! I mean, for a video game, that was a cool ass song. Very medieval sounding stuff at this point. As most of the backing music was, to be honest. <laughs> say there's no lyrics or anything no they're just playing it out which feels very very game music like cinematic from start to finish we have the portrayal of someone going to war and then dying on the battlefield his last moments then his spirit is not getting into heaven it is getting pulled down to hell he can't fly etc you know what I mean the, the lyrics explain themselves I think but somebody is is getting condemned to hell, but he does feel like he's going to live forever. Yes, very Sabaton sounding in the middle parts of it, but obviously you had a lot of like cinematic movie style music at the beginning, at the end, and you know it's just nice to listen to from start to finish. What did you guys think of this reaction? And is Sacred uh, Two worth playing? Let me know that in the comments. Also, see you next time.